everybody welcome back to my channel today thanks for tuning in today we are going to go through and do the assembly on the snapmaker 2.0 um, in case you're wondering which one I'm doing uh, this is the one for the a350 uh, other ones may be slightly different I'm pretty sure it's all basically the same idea though um, so we're gonna get right into that let's go so in order to get the first step going, we need the base plate, we need the foot screws, pads, and also the little tool. Now the base plate itself comes in its own little package here. The rest of the materials that we're going to be using you can find in your toolbox, which is in part of the tools and accessory box. So we have the plate out, turned upside down, and these four holes here we are going to take and put these rubber feet, if you will, whatever in there. You also need your tool, which is very nice, has all the little attachments that you need for it, in to use this to put the screws in. So we've installed all four of the little rubber legs right here. Now we're going to flip it over and go to the next part. For the next step, you're going to need two of the linear modules. Once you have your two modules out, you want to make sure that you have moved the platform holders to roughly about the same distance, make them parallel. The next step we will need the platform and a couple screws. So we have our platform here, what you want to do is take the linear module, line it up, I'm actually going to move my arm down a little bit to balance it, so it doesn't fall like I did earlier, one, and two, now for this, on all four corners of each of the platform for the linear module, you're going to use one M4 by 8 screw. Now for the next step, we'll need to take and attach the base plate to the two linear modules using 16 of the M8 screws. So now I've installed the screws, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 from the base plate to the linear module. Move my wires out of the way, flip it over, and this is the base of operations for the whole thing right here. So the next step is to take and attach the Z-axis holders, which are these brackets here, you want to take and put them here you have to secure them from the bottom of the plate using eight of the M4 threaded uh, bolts. So I've secured the Z-axis brackets with these eight bolts here. I'll flip it back over. And that's how it's supposed to be. Next step we're going to take and attach the touch screen holder here to the front right part of the base with two of the M4 by 8 bolts. So now we have the touch screen holder attached to the base. Now we're going to attach the Z axis modulars to the frame using 12 of the M4 by 8 bolts. So we've used the 12 M4 by 8 bolts to the rear of the Z axis linear modules here to install this. The next step is they have to be secured again a second way from the bottom up using four M4 by eight bolts to the bottom of both of these. So I've installed the next series of eight bolts that are M4 by eight to the bottom of the Z-axis pillars here. We'll move on to the next step. The next step involves securing the horizontal axis to the top of the z-axis here using an additional eight m4 by eight bolts 
So now we have secured the horizontal bar to the z-axis. What we want to do before doing this is make sure that you take and you pull the bars that support this linear module all the way to the top to make sure they're perfectly parallel with each other before screwing in the bolts to the back of it. Now for the next step to install we're going to need two different pieces of the machine. We're going to need the converter and the converter cable. The converter cable is going to come out the back of the converter and these two cords here from the convert or from the linear modules are going to go into the converter and come out the side. So we have both of the y-axis cords going into this converter here with this cord coming out. Now we need to take both of the plugs from the z-axis and put them into a converter here and those will come out the side as well. So now we have the z-axis cords connected to the converter here. Um, look somewhere. I don't know if it makes a difference, but they are actually coded. So I'm going to go ahead and follow what they use and have the Z go with the Z, have the Y go with the Y. That makes sense. Always follow the directions. And this really firm, solid click in there. You take them out, there's little pinches, pinch clips at the top. You push it down, pull it out. There is a nice piece of Velcro that's provided within the tool box set that you can use to wrap all the wires together so they're not just everywhere. So I did go ahead and use the Velcro for that and now those are nice together you don't have to worry about those flopping all over the place. For the next process we're going to take and attach the controller to the back of this Z axis here with four of the M4 by 30 bolts. And now we have connected the controller to the back of this z-axis pillar here with the four bolts. The next step is to install the touch screen controller which will be here and then the cord will mount to the side. So now the screen has been installed here the cord comes up to the side the port for it in the power bar says screen on it. This is held on magnetically very nicely sits there very secure. The next step is to attach the power module to the snap maker. That's done by connecting it with this cord here and then the power cord comes out of the back of the power module. And now with the power adapter here connected to the snap maker we have the plug here that is connected to the connector over there on the side. This is the snap maker 2.0 fully assembled minus whatever you want to do with end of arm tooling. This is not set up to do the CNC or the laser or the 3D printer, but this is exactly what you need to do in full to set up the machine before you take your next step. So that is the Snapmaker 2.0 fully set up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, please feel free to leave them below. Also, like and subscribe. There will be a lot more content from this machine to come. Thanks for watching.